द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस पैटर्न है करंट सीरीज इज अबाउट फाइंड अ स्ट्रीम सो बेसिकली इन दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट वी हैव टू डू इज दैट वी हैव टू जस्ट फाइंड अ स्ट्रिंग इन द ओरिजिनल स्ट्रिंग द स्ट्रिंग व्हिच वी हैव टू फाइंड इज अ सब स्ट्रिंग व्हिच इज गिवन एज अ सेकंड इनपुट एंड दिस इज द ओरिजिनल स्ट्रिंग एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड whether this sub string occurs in this original string okay if it's repeated then we have to keep a count and we have to output how many times this sub string occurs in this original string as you can see here here the sub string is cdc and it occurs two times in this original string so here the output is 2 okay so now we'll proceed to the code here they have taken input of string and sub string and they have passed this string and substring as a parameter to this count substring function okay so now what are we going to do is that we are going to store the length of this string and substring in two separate variables okay and now we'll need a for loop for iterating between the values i in range we'll decide range afterwards and here we are going to take if condition and in this if condition we are going to check whether this cdc is equal to this abc or this whole string or not so what we have to do first okay then in this if condition we'll first write string and in this bracket we'll pass now okay i'll explain you as you can see here the string starts with zero okay and in first place what are we going to do we are comparing this cdc with this abc okay as you can see this a is at zeroth index okay so at first i will be zero okay at first so what we are we are going to do we are going to start with i and till at what range we are going to check this cdc we are going to check this cdc till this c so what will be this it will be it would be i plus s len okay so consider this as an example it will start from i is equal to 0 to i plus s len here s len will be 2 in this case so 0 plus 2 will be 2 so here starting from 0 1 and 2 okay so this string will be compared to these three first letters okay so now we'll code further and we are going to check whether it's equal to substring or not further we will create a count counter to keep a track of a count and we'll declare count here and we'll assign it to 0 and now we'll return count over here we have done and we'll not talk about range okay so in this case the cdc substring we will compare the cdc substring to this a b c d c till c we will we are going to compare it which is at the position fifth okay means the length of this string is 5 so the range here should be 5 and here we are going to have done here we have just subtracted s length from m length and we have added 1 to it so this will give us output as a 5 okay now we'll run this code and we'll check it
okay it is working guys so other questions of this python hackerank series will be available on my channel and also guys if you like this video hit the like button and thank you for watching this video